Hey, we had you guys on the show not too long ago. Like, but for people that didn't hear that one, tell folks a little bit about kind of, I guess, call it the rebirth, the reinvention, the restart yeah. of Lansdowne. The yeah. return. These guys were kind enough to let me have some time just being a dad. I've got two kids, most of y'all know, so uh, it was really important for me to be home with them. And uh, started making music again, written uh, just about a full record, and uh, it's pretty heavy. It's, it's a lot heavier than like Blue Collar was or No Home. Uh, I think we all have a lot of roots in heavier music. It's fun to play on stage, so uh, we're excited to get it out too. All right, so people are going to know, do they get to hear anything today? What, and, or do we get to hear? No, nah, we're saving that. <laughs> we're saving that. You'll, you'll, yeah, I know, I know. We'll hear, uh, you'll hear, uh, I think everything we're going to play today is off Blue Collar. Um, but we'll get it out to you. We did a little Facebook Live thing where we previewed some of the songs, and some people might have heard it, but uh, it's, uh, I'm excited. I mean, I'm really excited to get it out there, so. So, who do you guys want to see today? Aside from the band, you're obviously not in the band here. Who are you most important to? I'm excited for Hell Yeah. We played a couple festivals with them. Really like them. Good guys. Great music. Uh, I'm excited to see Shaman's Harvest. Shaman's Harvest. I've heard incredible things about them and their incredibly underrated band. And I'm yeah. very excited to see them. And Blackstone Cherry. Blackstone. Absolutely. Always, always an inspiration on stage. Their music, their quality. Their they're Super just nice incredible. Yeah. Super nice guys. We toured with them a while back and it was really, I think, motivating for us to watch them. Influential. And, uh, yeah, learn from them too. So, yeah, really great band. How about uh, telling folks about the importance of today's event? It's more than just a concert. So, yeah, man, why don't you go ahead and tell me what you did yesterday too? And, but, uh, <laughs> next I was gonna yeah, ask yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, everyone knows we're super supportive of the military. We went overseas during the war and, and played for the troops in Afghanistan and Kuwait. But super, super excited to have those guys in house. Filthy Nasty's done an awesome job. Uh, I mean, this is a great festival. It's year one, they're going to build it. And uh, anytime we get a chance to hang out with the troops and do something for or with them, you know, we'll take that opportunity. Yeah, we went to, uh, we were invited to Nellis Air Force Base to go shoot some uh, firearms that the regular population cannot get their hands <laughs> on without. And it was, it was very, it, the Air Force, I have a new respect for them. They're, they are just stand up, stand up guys. Tell folks about the big seven dust thing that didn't hear about it yet, because that was a pretty cool gig for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're, uh, First of all, they're one of our favorite bands as a band, but uh, we got to play their 20th anniversary show down in Atlanta with them. Uh, packed house, really good. I actually just got done writing uh, some songs with Flint down in St. Louis, so um, again, we're really fortunate to be able to play with bands that we look up to and, and uh, are inspired by, and it was an awesome show. I say Mike's not here, but uh, Mike's sporting a new hairdo. He did something kind of cool. Do you want to speak for him? Or? He cut his hair, and uh, he is the incredible giving person that he is. He donated it. Um, I can't remember who he donated, but it was like uh, it was Little Princess or something, and he donated eight inches or nine inches of his hair. And uh, that was that was very cool. I and mean, now he's sporting a very different look for himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Looks good. But it's refreshing. It is because he's he's had he's had all these different dudes and long hair and short hair and definitely refreshing. Oh, he looks good. Handsome guy. You wrote with Clint. Right? Out of who you would want to write with, the question being, who would be the ultimate person that you would love to write with? Just like no holds barred, but then also from a reality perspective, who would you like to that should be on your radar? Yeah, I don't know. We've written with a lot of people that we respect, so I think we've been pretty spoiled from that yeah. regard. Uh, Clint was up there, man. I mean, every record that they've done is heavy but melodic, and uh, we wrote a song called Light of Day. It satisfied that. It's super heavy, super melodic, too, but um, I don't know, man. I just I always look forward to the opportunity to write with everybody. There's a lot of really, really talented people out there. Got to spend some time in Nashville, so yeah, I don't know if there's one above anybody else, but anytime you get a chance to get in a room with talented musicians and co-writers, it's awesome. I think it's, it's essential for the music industry, especially rock music, to have those collaborations. You have it in hip-hop, you have it in country, you have it in all these different genres. 
cameras and you don't have enough collaborations and it shouldn't be a competition. We should all be together in this and the better you can combine the great minds of music, the better music we'll put out and the more it will be accepted. So I think it's a great thing to be able to write with as many talented musicians and producers as possible to help to help the music industry in a whole. So you clearly have a lot of favorites. A similar question, and not necessarily from writing, but if you had like the person to perform with, who would it be? But at the same time, who would you want to perform with that should be like legit? Like Barry Manilow, right? That's my dream, got to perform with. Him. But like from a reality perspective, who would it be? Perform with, right? So not necessarily writing. Right? Well, what's your stretch goal and what's reality? To be honest with you, that reality was completely blown when we were invited to go play that 20th anniversary show with Seven Dust. That completely topped the charts for anything that I could have ever expected reality to be. Um, that's the stuff that in rock world is, you know, you hear fairy tales, you know, that you get to, you know, be a part of a historic event like that with such an important band in rock and metal. Um, realistically though, past that, I would love to see us out, you know, on um, real world with bands like. Um, it's a Breaking Band, Papa Roach, Bring Me the Horizon. Yes. A lot of really strong bands. They're both like. We have some really good bands in the genre that are awesome on record, but they can bring it live. And I think that's one of the best parts about rock music these guys can really play. So, so you got this big festival, you had the Seven Dust show, folks are going to be wondering. So, tour? Can we talk tour? Or we yeah. Can? Well, we got to finish the record. Uh, so that's that's number one. And then uh, hopefully we'll start looking into touring this fall, this winter. But uh, definitely got to make sure that the record's right and everyone's proud of it. We'll start there. We'll start there. Yeah. I, I mean, trust me, I'm itching to get back out. <laughs> itching to get back out. I, I will tell you that when we do get back, back out, it will be with a notable band. Someone that will definitely help out as far as, you know, again, you know, combining the community. But we'll, it'll be a notable band and it'll be a fun show. It's crazy to think that we were heavily touring you know, three three years ago, and that was the last, and that was the last of the heavy touring, and how quickly the time goes by. But when you get back into it, it's like ride the bike, you know. It's like the, the friendship, the camaraderie, the the music, the the, ta the talent, everything shines. It's it's wonderful. It's wonderful to be back. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the songs have a trend, a lot of self-reflection on it. Uh, I mean, we've grown up a lot over the last few years, for sure. And uh, just bringing all those experiences in. But I think it's pretty reflective. There's going to be a theme across these new songs. I wouldn't say introspective necessarily, but I think people really do have to ask themselves questions about what they want, where they're headed, you know, what their flaws are, most importantly, and, and kind of how to overcome a lot of that stuff. So I won't be getting political on any of this music, but uh, I think more importantly, our fans have shared a lot of experiences with us, uh, a lot of intimate details about their challenges and their successes, and that plays a big role in the writing.